hello friends today we'll see some important questions in percentages here is the first question 40 liters of mixture of milk and water contain 10% of water how much water must be added to make the water 20% in the new mixture <coughs> so we have a mixture of milk and water which is 40 liters so 40 liters 40 liters and this contains 10% uh, water 10% water and 90% milk right that means water is 4 liters and milk is 36 liters <coughs> Now we are asked how much quantity of water should be added so that so that the water becomes 20 percentage or 20 percent of the total mixture. Let's say x should be x liters of water should be added. So the new quantity of water is 4 plus x, right? So this is the new quantity of water, and this is 20 percent of the whole quantity of the mixture. So 24 plus x is equal to 20% of 20% of uh, originally we had 40 liters now x is being added right x liter is being added so x liters will be added to 40 liters also so this 4 plus x is the new quantity of water in this 40 plus x liters mixture so 4 plus x is equal to 20 by 100 into 40 plus x which is equal to one fifth so that can be written like this so 5 into 4 is 20 plus 5x if you take 5 on the other side it will be equal to 40 plus x so we will have 4x x will come on this side this 20 will go on that uh, that side so 4x is equal to 20 therefore x will be equal to 5 so 5 liters of uh, water must be added in order to make 20% uh, water in the mixture let's see other question <coughs> the length of a rectangle is increased by 30% and the breadth is decreased by 25 percent what is the percentage change in the area of the rectangle due to this so this question can be solved by using successive percentage change so so area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth is equal to area so this is getting increased by 30 percent and this is getting decreased by 25 percent so what is the overall uh, change in the area so 30 percent increase plus 25 percent decrease that's why minus sign plus 30 into minus 25 divided by 100 the formula for successive successive percentage changes a plus b plus a b by 100 if the quantity is increasing by a percent and b percent successively then the overall change is a plus b plus a b by 100 so here the area the effect on area will be increase decrease then 30 into 25 divided by 100 which is equal to 5 minus because of this will have minus 30 into 25 divided by 100 so 25 4 is 100 so which is nothing but 5 minus 7.5 which is nothing but minus 2.5 percent minus 2.5 percent means area is getting decreased so minus indicates the area is getting decreased by 2.5 percent <coughs> if the value is increased twice successively by 20 percent then what is the percentage net percentage increase in the value so again successive percentage change value is increased successively uh, by 20% twice so a 
plus b plus ab by 100 is the net change in the value so 20 plus 20 plus 20 into 20 by 100 which is nothing but which is nothing but 20 plus 20 is 40 40 plus this 4 is 44 percent so the change in the value is 44 percent net change in the value is 44 <coughs> percent Ten liters of water is added to fifty liters of solution containing twenty percent alcohol in water. What is the concentration of alcohol in the solution now? So we have fifty liters of solution. This contains twenty percent alcohol. Alcohol. So twenty percent means ten liter alcohol, and it will contain eighty liters. Oh sorry, eighty percent of the water. Eighty percent means forty liters water now it is said that 10 liters is added to this solution a 10 liter water is added so that means water so water is now so we have here new situation where the new solution is becoming 60 because 10 liter is getting added to the solution overall but that 10 liter is not the alcohol it is the water so water is becoming 50 it is initially we have 40 now uh, this is 40 plus 10 is 50 and that is also added to the overall mixture so overall mixture is 60 liters now out of 60 50 liters is water and alcohol is 10 <coughs> so the concentration of alcohol is 60 out of 10 right that is concentration of alcohol is 10 by 60 which is nothing but one sixth uh, which is nothing but 16.66 percentage So due to price hike of 20%, 4 kg less sugar is available for Rs. 120. What is the initial price of sugar per kg? So this question can be solved by using product stability. That means here the formula uh, is price into consumption is equal to expenditure. So we are going to keep the expenditure constant. right? That to, to in order to keep the expenditure constant if the price is increasing we have to decrease the consumption in the proportional amount so here the uh, if the price is increased by 1 by n the consumption will decrease by 1 upon n plus 1 so if one quantity is increased by 1 by n other decreases by 1 upon n plus 1 so if p increases by 1 by n c will decrease by 1 upon n plus 1 that's in order to keep this e constant right w we don't want to change this e right <coughs> so here the price is increased by 20 percent so p is getting increased by 20 percent or one fifth so price is getting increased by one fifth so consumption has to be decreased by one sixth one by n n is five here so one by n plus one is six so consumption has to be decreased by this much amount right so this much amount in order to keep this expenditure constant so condom consumption has to be decreased now it is given that 4 kg less sugar is available right so our decreased consumption is 4 kg for the same amount which we are expending which we are spending that is 120 so decreased consumption is 4 kg and uh, we are saying consumption should be decreased by 1 sixth because of increase in price so 1 sixth of the consumption is equal to 4 kg that is given therefore the original consumption must be 24 kg right therefore we are spending rupees 120 we are spending rupees 120 for 24 kg before price hike right so the price price is equal to 120 by 24 so 4 3 is a 12 4 6 is a 24 and 5 so price is equal to 5 rupees price is equal to 
फाइव रुपीज पर के जी पर के जी सो लेट्स सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रेश वॉटर मेलन्स कंटेन नाइंटी परसेंट वॉटर बाय वेट वेर एज ड्राई वॉटर मेलन्स कंटेन ट्वेंटी परसेंट वॉटर बाय वेट वॉट इज द वेट ऑफ ड्राई वाटर मेलन ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी के जीज ऑफ फ्रेश वाटर मेलन वे हैव ट्वेंटी के जीज ऑफ फ्रेश वाटर मेलन ना फ्रेश वाटर मेलन कंटेन्स नाइन्टी परसेंट वाटर वाटर इज नाइन्टी परसेंट एंड वाटर मेलन और मेलन पार्ट विच इज सॉलिड पार्ट दैट इज ओनली टेन परसेंट राइट सो नाउ दैट मीन्स वाटर हेयर इज वाटर मेलन हेयर इज टू के जी एंड वाटर हेयर इज एटीन के जी right <coughs> now dry watermelon contains 20% water by weight what is the weight of dry watermelon obtained from 20 kg now we are going to dry this dry this when we dry this we will get some x kgs of watermelon right now when we dry this only water will be evaporated or water will go out water will go out this 2 kg solid part will not be evaporated this will remain in the dry right that means this 2 kg again this dry watermelon will contain some water and some solid or watermelon part right so that solid part is 2 kg that will not be evaporated we are drying this 20 kg of fresh watermelon when we dry this only water will be evaporated from this 20 kg not the solid part so this solid part will remain as it is in the dried uh, watermelon also now what is this we don't know right but we certainly know this 2 kg is 20% of this x because it is given in the question dry watermelon contains 20% uh water by weight right so it is given in the question dry watermelon contains 20% water that means water is 20% right water is 20% so this certainly must be 80% right so this solid part is 80% of x so we are asked how much dry watermelon weight we are getting from this 20 kg so we know this 2 kg is 80% of x so 2 kg is equal to 80% of x so that is 2 is equal to 80 by 100 into x so x is equal to 2 into 10 by 8 which is nothing but 2.5 kg if we do this 2 for the 8 to 5 the 10 so it will be 10 by 4 which is nothing but 2.5 kg so we are getting 2.5 kg 2.5 kg dry watermelon from the fresh watermelon <coughs> let me do this question one more time we have 20 kg of fresh watermelon which contains 90% water and 10% solid part so 10% means 2 kg solid part now we are asked if we dry this fresh watermelon we will get the dry watermelon so what is the weight of this dry watermelon obtained now when we dry this watermelon only liquid part that is water will be evaporated and a solid part will remain as it is right so this 2 kg will be there let's say we are getting x kg of the dry watermelon so this x will contain this 2 kg as it is we don't know how much water will be there right we don't know that how much water will be there in the dried watermelon we only know the solid part will be there which is 80% of this x because it is given in the question what dry watermelon contains 20% water so water will be 20% so the solid part will be 80% so this 2 kg is 80% of x so therefore if we do the calculation further we get x is equal to 2.5 kg that is the weight of the dry watermelon is 2.5 kg in the solution of sugar sugar and water the ratio of sugar and water by weight is 1 is to 4 right the solution is heated and the process in in that process it loses 50% weight what is the ratio of weight of sugar and water in the final mixture we are given some solution in which we have sugar and water in this ratio right 
now then we heat that solution so and in that process we lose 50 percent weight of that solution then we are asked what is the weight of uh, what is the ratio of weight of sugar and water in the obtained mixture so let's assume we have 100 kg of uh, or 100 100 liters of uh, the solution i took 100 because i want some number which will uh, which will be divided by uh, some of these two 1 plus uh, 4 is 5 i want any number you can take 10 also no problem so if you take 10 liters right so uh, 10 liters contain one part uh, if we divide this 10 liter into five parts we have to divide this 10 liter into five parts because the ratio is 1 is to 4 if i divide this five parts one part will be of 2 liters each part will be of 2 liters so in this 10 liter we will have uh, weight of ratio of water ratio of uh, sugar and water is 1 is to 4 in the solution of sugar and water the ratio of sugar and water is 1 is to 4 so we have sugar as one part of the solution that is 2 lit uh, two liters or 2 kg whatever or 2 units right 2 liters or 2 kg let me write and water is sugar is 2 units and water is 8 units here right so because uh, water is 4 parts in this so we have to divide this 10 into 5 parts so one part will go to sugar that is 2 units will go to sugar and if we divide again this uh, 10 by into 5 parts and uh, out of those 5 parts 4 parts goes for uh, water so that is nothing but 8 right? 8 units okay so the idea is out of 10 liters 2 units sugar and 8 units <coughs> water now this is water this solution is heated and in this process it loses 50 percent weight we heat this heat this right so in this process 50 percent uh, weight is lost so we will left will be left with only 5 liters of the solution now when we heat the solution only water will be evap evaporated sugar will not be evaporated so sugar will remain as it is in this 5 liters also sugar was to originally 2 two units so now here also we will have 2 units of sugar right so now we have total 5 units uh, of the solution out of those 2 units sugar so certainly water will be 3 units now we are asked in the new solution what is the ratio of weight of sugar and water right so the ratio is this is sugar and this is water so the ratio is 2 is to 3 so this is the ratio 2 units of uh, sorry 2 sugar and 3 water in the final mixture 2 is to 3 ratio is 2 is to 3 <coughs> because the price of sugar is increased by 40 percent a family reduced its consumption so that expendi expenditure is up by 12 percent if the total consumption of sugar before the price was 50 kg before the price hike actually before the price hike was 50 kg what is the present consumption of sugar so here uh, we can use successive percentage change formula p into c is equal to expenditure price into consumption is equal to expenditure so the price is increased by 40 percent so certainly and we are increasing expenditure only by 12 percent 12 percent of the original expenditure area so certainly this consumption will be get will be affected right whether it will either it will be increased or decreased right we have to find this out so let's see what is the effect on consumption so we can use the successive percentage change formula here a plus b plus a b by 100 so which is equal to that will be the overall effect or net effect on the expenditure which is 12 percent net effect on expenditure which is 12 percent that is given it is increased that's why positive so let's a is 40 here so 40 plus b plus b is the change in consumption effect on consumption that we don't know we'll find it out 
<coughs> so so a is 40 40 b divided by 100 which is equal to 12 now b is b uh, if i multiply if i take this 40 on this side this will be uh, 12 minus 40 so on the right hand side i'll have 12 minus uh, 40 that is minus 28 right on the lhs i'll have uh, this i'll multiply this 100 to this uh, b so it will be 100 b plus 40 b divided by 100 so which is equal to 140 b equal to minus uh, 2800 right minus 2800 uh, this 100 will multiply this 20 so 14 to the 28 so b is minus 20 percent that is effect on consumption is minus 20 percent that means the consumption is getting decreased Consum con consumption is reduced by 20 percent right so now <coughs> uh, in the question further it is said that if the total consumption of consumption of the sugar before the price hike was 50 kg right what is the uh, what is the present consumption of the sugar present consumption of the sugar sugar is 20 percent less than the original originally we have we have consumption as c equal to 50 kg this was the original consumption it is given but due to price hike our consumption is getting decreased by 20 percent so 20 percent of this 50 is 10 so the new consumption uh, so the consumption is reduced by 20 percent so that is c is reduced by 20 percent of 50 so that is 10 kg consumption is getting reduced by 10 kg therefore new consumption is equal to original consumption 50 minus 10 which is equal to 40 kg is the new consumption <coughs> next question which is based on the same concept if the price of the sugar is increased by 20 percent one can buy 2 kg less sugar in rupees 50 what is the quantity of the sugar that could be bought before price hike so again here i can use either uh, i can use here product stability concept so p into c is equal to e this p is increased c has to be decreased so p is increased by in order to keep this expenditure constant p is increased by 20 percent or 1 by 5 20 percent means 1 by 5 therefore c has to be decreased by 1 by 6 if one quantity increases by 1 by n the other quantity decreases by 1 upon n plus 1 so c has to be decreased by 1 sixth and this decrease constant quantity is given here we are getting 2 kg less 2 kg less sugar that means consumption originally whatever we are we are buying originally or whatever we are getting originally now we are getting 2 kg less that means we are getting this because of increase or hike in the price so decrease consumption so one sixth of the consumption is equal to 2 kg so therefore the consumption is equal to 12 kg this is the original original consumption before price hike now before price hike uh, the price was or the expenditure was 50 right so <coughs> now uh, the ex expenditure is 50 and consumption is 12 kg so for therefore the price before uh, price hike is equal to expenditure divided by consumption 12 by uh, 50 by 12 so 25 6 to 25 by 6 rupees next question if the height and base of a triangle are increased by 20 percent and 50 percent respectively then the new area is how many how many times uh, the original area so here it is a two dimensional figure when the sides of the two dimensional figure are increased successively the overall effect on the area can be given by using the successive percentage formula so a plus b plus a b by 100 percent that is the overall effect on the area or net effect on the area so 
a is 20 percent one side is getting increased by 20 percent other side side is getting increased by 50 percent so a plus b 20 plus 50 plus 20 into 50 divided by 100 that is the overall effect on the area that is 70 plus 10 or 80 percent so the area will increase by 80 percent new area is 80 percent of the original area original area because of increase in the sites by this percentage yes. so these were few questions on uh, percentages keep watching other videos for other topics so thank you so much